Hi, I'm James, and today I'm taking a look at this, which is a Acer Aspire A317-51, uh, and this particular model is the 31QN. Now, this is a fairly basic 17-inch uh, laptop. Obviously, as you probably already know, compared to looking at 15, 14, 13-inch laptops, there isn't huge amounts of 17-inch laptops generally available. Um, and those that are tend to be more gaming focused. Uh, so I've picked this up for a customer and it is going out today uh, as they specifically wanted larger screen and this was a good value option for them. So the machine itself in this spec is a Comet Lake i3 10110U processor. Uh, that has a 2.1 gigahertz base going up to 4.1 gigahertz. And this is one of the 10th generation chips, but it is a 14 nanometer processor, not the later uh, 10 nanometer process. Um, in terms of other specs of the machine, we have a single 8 gig uh, DIMM, DDR4, I believe it will be, um, in fact we can check in here. It is, yes, a DDR4 2666 module. And that is also paired up with a 256 gigabyte SSD, and that is a MVME M2 module. Uh, so not a SATA based module or a 2.5 inch uh, drive. It is the faster PCI type. Um, other things of note, really keyboard, fairly standard fare. It seems quite nice to type away on. I've had no complaints just in setup with that. And equally, touchpad, fairly standard, usual two fingers and scroll and so on. But everything is fairly nice, responsive, and in the basic use I've had of this so far, I've got no real complaints. Um, the battery is a 36 watt hour unit, um, which isn't huge. Uh, the machine reports it's getting about six hours battery life, but bear in mind at the moment it's not connected to a wireless network and we aren't doing a huge amount on it. Uh, out of the box there is some pre-installed Acer, uh, Acer software, um, but that was all fairly easily removed. I haven't done a clean Windows install on this machine as I didn't really deem it necessary. And it's shipped with 1903 out of the box, so it will be doing a feature update to 1909, but that is a relatively small update. So shouldn't take it a great deal of time. Um, and yes, nice C1 shipping of 1903 on an outbox, but as you'd expect for a 10th gen machine. Uh, one thing that is nice, this machine cost around £550, so it's not cheap compared to some things like the, uh, the HP 255 uh, G7 that I've looked at in the past, which has you know, similar hardware specifications. But one thing that is nice, if I just take camera off the tripod now, sorry for the noise, is that we will see as we move around because this is a IPS type panel excuse the lighting there but you can see viewing angles on this are actually rather good so unlike a lot of sort of cheap 15 inch laptops where you have a TM panel and you get quite a lot of colour shift. This actually looks pretty reasonable as you move around it. So obviously I haven't spent a huge amount of time with this laptop, um, but any questions, just let me know. Other things to cover. So looking around the machine, we will find, so, so unlike the 31541, there's no access panel in the base, so if you want to get to the memory to add another module, and we could easily take this up to 16 gigabytes, you will be taking the base of the machine off. Likewise, if you want to change the SSD for something larger, uh, you would have to open it up, and unfortunately I don't know if there is a, a 2.5 inch bay in there as well. I suspect there might be, um, but because this is a custom machine, I'm not going to be opening this one up to check. Um, weight of it, it's yeah, fairly substantial being a 17 inch machine. Um, I don't have the exact weight to hand. Um, I'd guess it's a bit over a kilo and a half. So it's 
not heavy for a 17 inch laptop but it obviously isn't going to be as light as some. Now looking at the ports if we can get focus on the camera uh, so we have yeah standard weirdly there are USB 2 ports on this or at least they're marked black so I, I believe they are USB 2 uh, so we have USB 2 and DVD rewriter here and Kensington lock this is not USB-C this is a Kensington lock for attaching to the machine then looking down the other side and again if we can get camera to focus we have power Ethernet HDMI USB 2 USB 3 and headphone jack Now the coating of the machine itself is sort of a glossy plastic um, I don't mind this, it's smooth, it might not wear that well if it starts getting scratched versus some of the textured finish but I believe this is called shale black uh, on this model uh, and I think it looks reasonably nice but like I say if it gets a bit beat up it might start showing scratches more than a textured finish but any questions on the machine um, do just let me know, comment below and although I've only spent a little bit of time with it, I'm obviously happy to answer anything that I can. I hope you found this video somewhat useful. I realise it's just a very quick first look. Um, but thank you for watching.